being laid to rest there and the president giving a, eul a eulogy and uh, as we've been saying we've just spent the morning watching the Mtembo family and the government laid to rest the late minister in the presidency Jackson Mpikwa Mtembo since the news of his passing broke all who spoke about him emphasized his commitment to ethical leadership not only is our next guest a proponent of leadership who wrote a book, Attuned Leadership, but he had first-hand experience of Mr. Mtembu's style of leadership. Rural Koza, who's also the chairperson of the Public Investment Corporation, the PIC, joins us now via Zoom. Uh, a very good day to you, Mr. Koza. Thank you so much uh, for making the time. Uh, I don't see Mr. Koza's picture yet. I don't know if he's joining us. Um, Mr. Koza, I imagine you were watching the funeral service on television. What stood out for you this morning? Yes, Desiree, I certainly have been watching and I've been uh, following uh, the entire painful uh, unfolding of uh, the demise of Jackson Tembo. But I was uh, also following the entire program since morning. And I was uh, moved a great deal by the torrents of tributes that came from all those that uh, got to know him during his rather short life. Tell us, how did you know uh, the late Jackson Temple and what impression did he make on you in terms of ethical leadership? I had known um, Jackson Tembo only from a distance for quite a while, but uh, sometime in 1999, when I think he was uh, in the uh, provincial uh, parliament uh, of Mpumalanga, he approached ESCOM for uh, possible uh, sponsorship. I was actually struck by the humility the manner in which uh, he approached me, many other um, uh, politicians actually come to a state-owned enterprise as if they actually stay, own the state-owned enterprise and talk to you as if giving you instructions. Not so Jackson Mtambu. And following that, 99, 1999 um, uh, come together on the phone. I actually have been following him and I've met him at uh, in, in in parliament because um, as the chairman of escom i was invited uh, regularly to parliament and we just exchanged greetings he happens to come from the same um a province which is a province of my birth so there was that uh, bit of affinity even then and um uh, since then i've been following pretty intently uh, and uh, tried to uh, uh, learn something from his mode of leadership, his uh, uh, sense of stewardship, his uh, responsiveness to those that actually approached him, and uh, particularly when he became the voice of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic communication to the public, I believe then he came to his own, a personified uh, if you like, empathy, personified compassion, personified elegant simplicity in terms of communicating to the citizenry. Dr. Koza, why is the message of ethical leadership important as a legacy point as we try to remember Mr. Mtembu? Uh, the message of uh, ethical leadership is not just important. It's actually crucial to leadership. In my humble submission, any leader of any organization has got to evidence at least two uh, pillars of, um, uh, if you like, uh, system, uh, value systems. Uh, any leader has got to be effective. That's crucial. Without effectiveness, without uh, a sense of efficacy, the leader should just go home or the pretending leader should go home. But the second pillar is ethical conduct. But where um, uh, Jackson Temple was concerned, he actually combined those two. There are many organizations, many countries even, that stand fairly well on uh, the pillar of effectiveness. 
If we look uh, a little bit north of us in Zimbabwe, during the first 10 years of uh, Mugabe's leadership, he actually evinced and evidenced both effectiveness and ethical conduct. But following that, I believe that comes uh, with the hubris of, uh, you know, beginning to believe that nobody can lead better than you. That's when he should have retired. He would have retired as a, a super state person. But he continued. And then hubris set in and uh, he began to evidence effectiveness without ethical conduct. And in due course, he became very, very effective, but effective in driving the politically, the, I mean, the political um, uh, economy into the ground. And the rest is history. That country, which was um, epitomizing African success in a political economy, is now a shambles. And what brought it down is not lack of effectiveness, but lack of moral and ethical conduct. So uh, moral and ethical conduct are not just important, but crucial to the success of um, the leadership. If you flounder on that, whatever organization you lead, whatever country you lead will come crumbling down. Such a lot to take away from what you just said, but due to time constraints, uh, I'll just ask you this last question. I'd be remiss not to ask you this, even though it's not related, but you yourself are at the helm of an organization that's been part of the conversation around corruption and poor governance. I know this is for a different interview, but are you able to give the nation any feedback about developments in the work of rectifying governance within the PIC? Um, no, thank you very much. As I say, well, uh, this this is the time to uh, mourn the passing of Jackson Tembo, a very, very luminous figure in our political economy space. But yes, uh, the PIC uh, was fairly effectively run. There's no question about it. But it floundered on the rock of ethical conduct, on the rock of morality. I currently chair a uh, board that is an interim board that is meant to clean up the organization. And we're trying our very best. For one thing, we have now restored a measure of, a measure of confidence into the organization by way of resourcing it with the kind of leaders that we believe evidence what I've been trying to talk about. We also have um, an advisory panel that we use as a sounding board for making sure that we don't flounder where the legalities are concerned. We want to believe that in about 12 months' time, we shall have restored the PIC to its former glory. And those that are supposed to benefit from it as retirees, uh, uh, professionals in government in the main, should then be uh, developing the kind of confidence that they had in the PIC historically, if not even greater confidence, but will make it uh, the core of our governance life for the balance of the year and perhaps well into the future. Dr. Kozai Kentilengofu, we hope you can come back another time uh, for a further, further discussion, but thank you so much for your time today. No, thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that we had a few technical glitches at the beginning, but I hope that the message uh, came through fairly clearly. Uh, keep up the good work. May the nation learn as many lessons from the legacy of um, Jackson Tembe, a, a legacy of caring and quintessential stewardship, a legacy of political leadership that defied and transcended false ideological tyrannies. Thank you very much. Thank you once again, Dr. Ruo Kozade, for you. Uh, he wrote a book, Attuned Leadership, about ethical leadership and is also the chairperson of the Public Investment Corporation.